Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Candice. I'm Candice and we're going to be conversing today. Today I'm doing a makeup look as you can probably see from the thumbnail of this video. I've been wanting to do some more like creative looks that I've seen on TikTok lately and today is the perfect day. So the look that I originally saw on TikTok looks like this. But the original creator of this look is this lady. She's insanely talented. All of her looks hot fire. The palette that I'm using today is going to be mainly from the matte book from the crayon case. I purchased this like a couple years ago and I've used it a few times but it's still pretty much unused with the exception of this orange that I took out to use as blush one time. So let's start with my skin prep and then we're gonna get started on this look. I've already moisturized with my Tatcha and now I'm gonna go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer and I'm gonna put it on my face. If I were going to go outside, I would put on sunscreen first, but I'm not going outside. I have my e.l.f. brow lift. I really love this stuff because it sets my brows in place and it's going to stay all day. I'm going to use the spoolie part to go backwards first on my brow. Get it all on the back of the hairs, go down, and then I'm going to go up. And that's going to keep these hairs in place all day. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and color correct, but I'm going to use concealer this time. And I'm just going to color correct on the darker spots on my face, kind of bring them up to the same color as my skin. Use that same concealer to carve underneath my brows, and then I will fill in my brows with an eyebrow pencil. because this eye look is going to include my lid and underneath my eye, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my foundation, but I'm not gonna put it above right here. I'm just gonna put it on my forehead and around the perimeter of my face. Now I'm gonna take my e.l.f. concealer in the color Deep Cinnamon. It's a little bit light. I'm putting it on my eyelids as well as on my face. Everywhere where I would highlight when I'm doing my contour. So eyelids, and then I'm gonna take it down here. Take it pretty low onto my face. I also want to contour my nose. And then I'm going to camouflage my mustache. So I've begun to blend it in on my eyelids. And this concealer dries down pretty quickly, so I have a damp beauty sponge. And I just want to blend it out. The reason why I'm going lighter today is because I want those colors in that palette to pop. I just want this a little bit lighter. I have my Eye Prep Eye Prime Primer from Juvia's Place. This is the color shade one. So I'm gonna shake it up because I haven't used it. I never use it. And I'm just gonna put a dot on my eyelids and a dot underneath my... Okay, all right. A dot on my eyelids. Baby, she is just going everywhere. And then a dot under my eyes. This is not an everyday look. This is a like, I'm going to a fairy princess party look. I'm going to a costume party look. This is not an everyday look. So if you're looking for an everyday look, baby, go somewhere else. I'm gonna take a buffing brush and I'm just going to pat this in where I know I'm going to be putting the eyeshadow. Well, I turned my little fan on. I wanted this to dry down without me putting setting powder on it. And I have little creases in my eyelid. That's okay. When I put on the eyeshadow and buff it out, it'll be just fine. So it looks like from the picture, the first color in the creases is pink. So let's take the pink. I might mix them depending on how it looks on my eyes. All these eyeshadows are kind of chalky. That's okay. We're just gonna pat, pat, pat. It doesn't have to be exactly like the picture, but we do want to get some pigment. I resorted to using my fingers and they're a little bit damp. So I'm gonna continue to do that. I think that works out a little bit better. So next is the pastel purple. It has kind of coming off blue on camera, but I'm gonna mix these two like that. 
I'm just gonna go tap above right next to that pink and that came out really pretty. And I want it to blend, so I'm just gonna go over the pink and then go next to the pink. And then I'm gonna take that same color and go right here underneath my eye as well. So the blue that I used is very much a brighter blue than the lavender and the pink that I have. So I just went back and added more lavender in these little spaces between the pink and the blue just to make it pop a little bit more. I'm gonna keep going, I have to trust the process. This would be a really cute butterfly actually if I just outlined it. But I'm gonna keep going because I wanna do this full look. Sing around with various brushes to just kinda see how the application is gonna go. That blue is still really popping right there but I'm gonna leave it I guess for now and I can blend it in a little bit better in a minute. I'm taking this flat brush for yellow. I want a bunch of yellow pigment on my skin and yellow typically does not show up very well or it'll show up and then it'll go away. So I'm just patting this on the edge of the green and I really like that. Before I go any further, I'm gonna spray some setting spray. Probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. The crayon case colors are just very chalky. I need them to be a little more smooth. I have an orange shimmer from another crayon case palette that I'm gonna use as blush. We'll just see how it goes. At this point, I mean, there's no turning back. It has shimmer, I'm not sure if you can see it on here, but it definitely has shimmer and it's orange and I really like that. For some contour, we're gonna contour my forehead for sure. And just a little bit right there to cut my Cut my little cheekbones up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go on the sides of my nose to give that outline to my nose. The same thing with my bronzer over those same spots. that I cannot find any eyeliner that won't ruin my life. So I'm gonna try very hard and go very slowly to just do a line with this liquid liner from Juvia's Place. And it's gonna be thick. I definitely wanted a dramatic lash for this look. So I'm using some that I got from my cousin. I don't know where they came from. She said she had a friend that sold lashes. She gave them to me and here they are. This is not my last step. My last step is gonna be lips and jewelry and the final look, but I have to do rhinestones. I got these on Amazon and these are numbered one through 12. So these are 12 different size rhinestones. They are super pretty and I put them on with lash glue. You can also buy like um, the Marin makeup glue, but it works well with lash glue. Pro tip, if you have pimples, put them on your pimples. It's perfect. So I want a bold but neutral lip. I'm gonna use my MAC Chestnut. Just line my lips. And then I'm gonna take my favorite butter gloss from NYX and I'm just gonna go over my lips and blot. Also adding inner corner highlight, which I just did, and nose shimmer to set this look off. I got to I got to put my clothes on. I got to put something on so I can get a final look. Oh shit, she is cute. 